Once a jolly swagman camped by a billabong Under the shade of a coolabar tree He sang as he watched and waited till his billy boiled You'll come a-waltzing Matilda with me G'day guys, it's Shannon with the Backyard Bushman channel And I'm out in the woods today, here in Washington still um, Checking out some of my, uh, you know, wild edibles and whatnot And thanks to the encouragement of a few dear friends of mine I decided I'd shoot some videos while I'm out here Anyways, um, this isn't particularly a wild, well it isn't a wild edible at all, <laughs> probably tastes like crap, but at any rate, as you can see on this tree here, we got this little white thing, and anybody that's, uh, you know, got allergies and whatnot, seasonal allergies, will tell you in Washington State, it's not the only place you get it of course, uh, you get this lovely stuff here called cottonwood, okay, um, it's pretty late in the season, uh, and this is actually more seeds than it is just the, the fluff itself, the cotton per se, um, but any time of the year, about, you know, June, uh, around then you'll find this stuff absolutely all over the place. Uh, it's ridiculous and I'm talking about blanketing the parking lot kind of stuff, you know. Um, so being that it's late in the year, we've got it all over the path and all over the plants here. Sorry for the balance of my name. Um, but you know, it's we've just got remnants clinging to everything and like I said, it's, it's pretty seedy right now. I don't know if you can see that from there. Um, but when you find this stuff floating around, it's actually pretty invaluable uh, for, for at least one use that I use it for and I'll, I'll give you a close up here. Um, if we check it out right here, there we go. You see, it is literally like cotton wool, okay? Um, and the good thing about that, of course, is that it's it's a freaking ripper five starter. I mean, this thing will take a spark like you wouldn't believe. Um, I'd love to give you guys a demo right now, but I've got a bit of a wind chopping through here. I'll give it a shot and see what happens. Just give me one second, all right? All right, guys, there we go. We're gonna give this a shot. So I've got my cotton wood right here. Um, I hope this works out on film. So like I said, guys, Kind of winded right here, but I'm going to try and give it a shot. And I've got the stuff all over the ground. Anyway, just a typical ferrocerium rod. Back of my knife here. I'm just going to hold it down. And because this stuff will float away, I know typically you want to pull your ferrocerium rod away from your knife. This catch is pretty easy, so all I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just going to drag the knife down the rod instead. There we go. Done. And it's burning. This one's a bit grubby. Um... But she's certainly burning, and if you can't get a fire started with that, well, I would suggest some more practice. There we go again. Like I said, it's like cottonwood. If you get it where it's not so seedy and it's it's just really it, it's 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 like I said there's no other way to describe it other than cotton wool. Um, and you get a spark on it, she'll she'll just become a flame. Um, I don't know if you'd want to add some Vaseline to it, <laughs> but at any rate, again, it's a really good natural fire starter. If you get yourself a little tinder bundle and you've got this to get it started, you'll blow that into a flame. No worries. So again, guys, that's cottonwood. It's really typical uh, up here in Washington State. I'm sure, a little searching on Google will show you where else you can find it. Um, I'm pretty certain that all of you have seen it before. But at any rate, uh, thanks for viewing, guys. Um, there's going to be plenty more videos today, done today. Uh, should be up over the next couple days. Um, I really appreciate your support, and I will see you next time. You come a waltzing, Matilda.